Yeah, so I think Olympic lifting has its place in the respect of bringing together a few elements of um, skills within the fitness spectrum that w w normally the average person doesn't get to challenge. So accuracy, agility, coordination, balance. Um, you, you know, so I think Olympic lifting is is a perfect place to bring all those things together, um, particularly as well, like once you get used to them, to, to harness power and speed. Um, so it is challenging and we, you know, once again, we would break it right the way down and offer sort of uh, levels ranging from like if, for example, you know, you've got two, two lifts, you've got a snatch and a clean and jerk. Um, so the snatch for a new a newer person, we might do a hang variant. So they just go from above their knees and then they'll do a hang muscle variant. So they just get used to extending at their ankle, their knee and at their hip and using the power that they create through that triple extension to elevate an object. In this case, normally a barbell or a PVC pipe or a broomstick in there, whatever it might be overhead and getting a feel for weightlessness on that on that object. So it's, it's enabling them to get a relationship between kind of the big movers in your body and what they do, mm. okay? Um, and I think this is where CrossFit it becomes for people like a hobby really, because it's, it's just a new skill. And it's, it, it, I think sometimes we associate exercise with turning the brain off and getting it done. And I think this enables like this kind of movement, the more complex movements mean we have to turn the brain on big, big time and we become focused. We, we get a bodily awareness and um, we've also got opportunities for progression as well. And you can physically see, OK, I can do that from the hang. Now let me try it from below the knee. Let me try it with a dip underneath it. Let me try it with a little bit of load, you know, so you can physically take someone like you can progress them and they can see that progression. Um, so I think it doesn't hurt to have anyone try these things. Now, uh, if, for example, um, you do to, you know, going back to our good mechanics, first and foremost, consistency, then intensity mm -hmm. sort of flow, um, we've got to be careful getting the person to do the right thing at the right time. So that's, that, that is about us managing kind of people's, uh, abilities, and when you kind of then maybe take it, okay, so now someone has got the, they have got the skill, they have got, you know, they're a strong guy, girl, their back fit, back squats proficient, their deadlifts proficient, their power variant, i.e. their power snatch or their power clean is proficient, you know, their mechanics are good. We're starting to tick, tick, tick boxes now. Now we can, because the way I see it, Olympic lifting, is not such a isn't such a strength thing it's not like it's more bringing together lots of lots of elements and creating power and speed um so now it's more just a tactical thing so once once you can bring that all together and then and that's it's just the art of it really because you're then starting to film people and they're seeing what they look like under movement and you're sort of digesting this part of it and you go in a little bit too early there and it becomes i've I sort of associated with like a golf swing mm -hmm. you know you can hit one that goes straight down the middle you know i.e you snatch one and it feels light and it feels great and you're like oh i've nailed it and then you hit one for no reason like in the woods you know and then that's the same with a barbell all of a sudden you do something slightly different and it just doesn't feel right so it kind of the, the olympic lifting side of it can grab you and um it, it, it's quite it's quite good because you can see you can grow your numbers within it it forces you to perhaps focus on your mobility work a little bit more um and it really does focus on you then getting stronger in your more kind of raw movements your squats your deadlifts and that sort of thing so i'd say in our environment people are only subjected to these movements when they're ready for them um and it, it is different obviously in a we normally would feature that sort of thing in a part a you know where it's we've got time it's calm you know, you've got a coach floating around, giving feedback, that sort of thing. And then when when and if it is in a workout, it really is generally a lighter load or light to moderate load. Um, and there's 
if you're at this level, you don't do that movement, you do this movement. So we'll kind of manage that. 